Hey, what's up, guys? Well, 14 here coming to you with the review of Star Wars Episode 1. There are going to be um, some spoilers ahead, so, like, if you haven't seen it, like, I mean, if you, if you want to, I honestly, even if you don't think you'll like a prequel movie, like, in Star Wars, I think as a Star Wars fan, you can still see everything for yourself, even if you know you're not going to like it, or based on what you've heard, or if you think you won't like it, because it's Star Wars. You should, you should know all of it, the good and the bad. Um, but anyway, um, I think it was, um, I could make a separate video about the prequels later, but I think, like, people just, like, overemphasize the bad parts of this movie, and for me, it, they don't really, like, take away from the movie that much. Um, I will say, um, the two bad parts that stand out to me are, um, uh, Jar Jar and, uh, the politics of the movie. Um, with Jar Jar, I don't think he's as bad as people think. I don't think he ruins the movie. I, for me, I think he's just a big, um, distraction. From the main plot and unnecessary distraction and I agree he shouldn't really should have been in the movie. But like I don't think he's like, you know <laughs> like like completely drags the movie down to the dust and ruins it. I will say though, I kept checking the amount of times that um Jar Jar maybe upset their movie and told twenty five, so there is that. But again, it was a little more like annoying me and like distracting from like the movie and kinda of taking you out of it, which like obviously precludes the movie from being great, but it doesn't like, um, it doesn't like, you know, um, take me away from the movie, um, or, yeah, so, and then the politics, the politics is pretty boring, I mean, I think George Lucas was really trying to show, trying to, like, show how the Republic was trying to function back then, um, because that's something, you know, we didn't really, obviously didn't see in the original trilogy, and Obi-Wan referenced it, so he's trying to show that, and kind of maybe mirror how, um, awful politics is in the real world, but it was just too boring. And the really the thing that really gets me upset about that is that you have um, politics in the same movie as um, Jar Jar Binks. Like on the one hand, you have Jar Jar try to play the kids, I guess, he, and he was actually called Jar Jar. The name was given by George Lucas's like very young son, so there is that. Um, but um, you have Jar Jar in the same movie as his boring politics. So on the one hand, you want to entertain kids with Jar Jar, but on the other hand. But on the other hand, you um, want, uh, you want, uh, <laughs> I guess, no, you don't want, but you're going to bore kids to sleep with the politics and such. So, yeah, that got me a little upset. Um, I guess uh, another big thing about the movie, um, <clears throat> the guy who plays Anakin, I, I forget the actor's name, I'm sure I can find it uh, later, but, like, you did a good job of just, for what the movie did, it was just a little too cheesy, like, I'll try spinning, that's a neat trick. And the pod race, while cool, was kind of like, oh, I mean, it seemed a little unrealistic realistic for him to be doing that, even with giant reflexes. And just, I think, like, they kind of set up, they did set up well how he's attached to his mother and how that's going to be, like, a problem for him later on. But, um, I think, like, they did fall, sh they made him, like, a little too cheesy and, like, kind of focused too much on moving around him, even though he is, like, the chosen one. I think he should sure kind of been in, uh, not incidental but kind of like a side thing of the movie with the main thing being Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan you know going after Darth Maul and figure out what's going on with the Trade Federation and all that um but I, I think they focused on Anakin a little too much and he was a little bit too cheesy and also the internet like the first time he meets Obi-Wan was pretty underwhelming like you should have been like I would have preferred like the scene when um Qui-Gon's fighting Darth Maul and Tatooine I would have preferred like Obi-Wan got in, like, jumped out and, like, pulled Anakin in or something like that. Something to make it more memorable. Or to have them, like, not really get along at first and have them be really annoyed at the kid. Something like that. I wish more depth could have been given to that. Um, and yeah. And, um, by real, um, the highlights of the movie, the good parts of the movie, um, I guess I probably should start there in the future, but whatever. Um, I will say Ewan McGregor, like in all of the prequels, he's amazing. The bright spot of the prequels for sure. Um, I think you'd be hard pressed to find someone who's like, oh yeah, Ewan McGregor was just awful in these movies. Um, although the search one out there like that, that has an opinion exists, but I think it would be hard to find someone with that. Um, he's he's just really good in all, all the scenes in the movie, um, especially at the end of the fight in the fight with Dark Maul. Really enjoyed his performance. Um, and of course, my favorite part of the movie, um, uh, favorite character of Star Wars and favorite part of the movie was Darth Maul's debut. Um, I still just remember as a kid, like, seeing on, I think on TV for the first time, like, him have a double saber. I just thought that was so, like, whoa. Like, that's just so, um, cool. And that's why he's my favorite character. 
Um, and then also, like, when I was watching it, as soon as I heard the horn come on for Duel of the Fates, I just felt a smile creep over, slowly, slowly um, creep, on, creep over on my face. And that was just, um, just pretty cool, because, like, he's just, he's just such a badass, you know? Um, and definitely my favorite Star Wars character. Um, even, like, even before, like, the Clone Wars, and I guess, oh, well, I guess that's a spoiler for that, but, um, like, the Dark Wall, um, you know, but kind of being more fleshed out in the Clone Wars series and that, and all that. Um, uh, I still, I still have a favorite character, even if, if Star Wars to this day, even if, um, including Legends as well, even if that didn't happen simply because it's all cyber. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, yeah. But anyway, in the end, I give the movie 8 out of 10. I think the problems with the movie are big problems, and they really... Um, kind of wasted potential in this movie. I think the most thing that gets me most upset about the Precursor in general is just the wasted potential. Like, you have this amazing story. You can literally do whatever you want with it, basically, as long as it kind of leads into episode four eventually. And then you know, Lucas just kind of fails. So that's what that's what gets me most upset about prequels. Not like them as movies themselves, but like that you had this pot great potential, like to go in so many different directions and really develop Anakin's backstory well as like the great strategy. One of the great tra tragedies of all time, which it is, but it was just executed poorly. But that can be safe for another video. But that's what gets me most upset. But again, this Jar Jar politics, they're, they do distract from the movie and shouldn't really be in there. And politics, at least, not as heavy. Um, but it's the only distract from the movie overall. It's still a fun time. I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, uh, definitely. And I mean, like, you have, do you have Hugh McGregor and then Darth Maul and then Duel of the Fates, which is my, my humble opinion, the best Star Wars soundtrack ever? in that movie so yeah there's that but let me know what you guys think in comments down below um please try to keep civilized i know pre the prequels are like a divisive um topic in star wars fan base so please keep, try to keep it civilized but other than that thanks for watching guys please like comment su and subscribe i want to go to the channel as quickly as possible links will be in the description to um uh various playlists um you go rank down rank matches you go deck profiles um, discussions and reviews such as this one and and my 2017 fan movie trailer, trailer playlist full of the fan of movie tra tra mo trailers from mo fan of movies of 2017 that at least have someone you're interested in both that have come out and that will be coming out they're all there so you can just start from the beginning and sit back watch and enjoy um, and uh, yeah other than that um, thank you for to all the 32 people who are already subscribed and thanks for watching guys and have a great day